What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a stock that ARK Invest is buying when the stock actually sold off to the downside. So I'm gonna cover exactly why the stock fall to the downside, if it's a good company to get involved in it, and what are the ideal price points that we can use to get involved in this company. I'm also gonna be doing a quick stock market recap and we have important economic reports that we need to pay attention to for tomorrow. So I'm gonna cover that information too. So make sure you stay till the end of the video. All this important information coming up before we get into the video i appreciate it if you can hit the like button if you have any questions or any comments make sure you drop it in the comment section below yesterday we talked about there can be a huge potential that the job numbers can have an impact on the stock market and as you can see today we had a slight sell off to the downside in the morning we gapped up significantly to the downside even though we recovered as we as the time went out in the afternoon the stock market recovered some of the huge sell-off that happened and the pre-market sessions and the main news that came out of course is the job numbers really not being pretty good and also in europe the cases for covid19 are also rising so those are the two main things that drove this stock market to slightly open to the downside but as i mentioned you know, we recovered the main stock that have been dragging the stock market are the big companies you know the multi-trillion dollar companies like apple you know, Microsoft were also down, Facebook down minus 1.8%, Amazon, they were significantly lower, but they slowly tried to recover some of the losses that they had. And we also had some major companies from big banks like JP Morgan and Bank of America, Citigroup, they reported their earnings a few days ago and they had a massive sell-off. So they recovered some of the sell-off that they had and they were helped the stock market to recover some of the losses. And we also had the energy sector that helped the stock market to go higher. Some real estate companies also participated today to recover some of the losses that we had. So tomorrow we also have some major economic reports that can potentially affect the stock market. So I'm gonna cover that information a little bit later on. But now let's talk about what is the major company that I covered in the past that actually broke out significantly to the upside. Nano Dimensions is a company that we talked about that Ark Invest was getting involved in it. And we covered this company when it was actually breaking out of the $2 area. And we also covered it again when it had a multi-month breakout when it consolidated over here and it decided to break out of the multi-month breakout point of $2.60. Now it actually went to $4.80. So that's like 100% in a matter of a few days. So that is really fantastic. So if you're somebody that took advantage of it, that's fantastic. Now you have to ask yourself, like, is it time to take profits? Are you going to hold it? And like, what was your strategy? So because it hit our profit targets like twice, you know, initially when we got involved in it, our profit target over here was $2.70. And then when we, when it actually broke out again, we we used this price point level of like $2.70 as a support area to get involved in it. So if you got involved in it when it had a multi-month breakout, also our first profit target was going to be above $4. So that is 100% return in a matter of few days and matter of weeks. So now it's up to you to lock in your profits or if you want to hold it. But I highly recommend you lock in your profits, at least like share half of it or, you know, sell, you know, a quarter of it and see how things are going to unfold for the future. Of course, ARK Invest has a long-term impact or a long-term hold for this company when they get involved in a the company they hold for five years. So that is one of the important things that we need to understand. This is a long-term play, but in the short term, we had a phenomenal return. So locking in profits is also some of the things that you need to keep in mind because you know you never know what might happen in the next few days. So of course, elections coming up pretty soon too. So you have to be super careful. Now let's talk about the other company that ARK Invest bought in today. So this company is called fastly and the stock dropped 27.18 percent it was actually a lot lower than the 27 percent it was around like 30 percent of the downside and the stock really had a phenomenal run since the beginning of the year even though the covid cases you know all the this, this stuff happening around the world did not really affect this company because it was a software company and the stock has been really rallying to the upside but today the stock just dropped significantly and of course ARK Invest initiated a massive position on this company. So I'm going to cover exactly why ARK Invest decide to get involved with this company. So first of all, we're going to figure out exactly which of their ETFs that ARK Invest decide to buy and how many shares do they buy. So the ETF that they initiated this position on is the ARKW. And as you can see over here, Fastly is their number, number 45 position. As you can see, they bought three more than 300,000 shares that is worth more than 27 million dollars so they initiated that position today so they literally just bought the dip on this company so now let's figure out 
why the stock actually dropped this amount a lot to the downside. So the main news that came out is they really changed their guidance. You know, so they're talking about they're going to be potentially making between 73.5 to 75 million dollars and they lowered that to 70 to 71 million dollars you know so that is the main thing that really affected the stock price to drop because the main customer of this company is the provide service and tiktok is one of the major companies that use the service for this company so there's been a lot of issues with tiktok you guys know that you know the government is was planning to ban tiktok because they think that they're spying the chinese government is using the app to spy on the u.s so that was the main issues and some of the things some of the people that are using the app actually lowered and the company did not actually have to use the service for fastly anymore so that really declined since TikTok did not really need to use Fastly that much anymore, that's why the impact of the revenue dropped. So this is the main reason why the stock actually went lower. And now the situation with TikTok is actually going to be better since an American company is getting involved in it and things might actually be solved pretty soon. So that is really fantastic for the company going moving forward, but they just lowered their guidance. This is the main thing that dropped the stock significantly to the downside nothing really big changed and also the company offered 6.4 shares of class a common stock so this is the recent sec filings that came out today so this is also one of the things that drive the stock price lower to the downside at the same time too and their earnings reports are coming up pretty soon in november 5th 2020 so that is a huge huge event that could potentially affect the stock price when you look at analyst reports for this company they believe that the high that the stock can go is approximately above 115 dollars and the low that it can go is 58 dollars and the and the average is 96 dollars and 50 cents so now the current price is approximately 89 dollars and 70 cents so that's relatively good because you're getting involved in it right in the middle and also when you look at the majority of the company ownership you know there's a lot of institutions that are involved in this specific company you got 61.7 percent is institution ownership and insider transaction increased a lot more than 50 percent and the share outstanding available is relatively not that much too it's only like above 99 million shares and the share of the float is 82 million so we can see some drastic moves for this company fastly stock can actually recover from this price point within the next few months or the next even it might take it a while for it to recover but still this is a software company and these software companies really are super volatile they can go high and their earnings reports are also coming up in november 5th so you better be super super careful you decide to get involved in it and also due to the news we might get some analyst downgrades upgrades coming up pretty soon but however ARK Invest initiated a position so they believe there is potential for this company this is buying the dip opportunity if you see it as ARK Invest sees it definitely a huge potential for it so definitely keep an eye on and the ideal price points that you can use to get involved in it is right around over here you know there's a lot of support around the $80 area we can use the $80 area as support and if the stock price goes below $80 you might cut your losses but right now it's really close to $80 and your first profit target is going to be the high that it made in the 52 week high for this price point is approximately close to above $115 120 that 52 week high is around close to $135. So that is where you can be your profit target in the short term, or you can just use $120 over here as your first profit target. So that's a good risk reward. You can risk the $80 to for this potentially for the stock to spike up to $120 within the next few months. That can potentially happen also, and you can just cut your losses if it drops below $80. So that is a great risk to reward trade. You can get involved in it in the short term swing trade. And also if you want to get involved in it for the long term, there's a great potential for this company as a software company. A lot of companies uh, want to use some of the services. You know, I did more research on them. You know, say they like the way that Fastly services are actually helping them a lot. And they also do not have to pay unless they use their services. So that is why a lot of companies really are gravitating towards Fastly. So do more research on them and see if you can see a huge potential growth within the next coming years for this company. So now let's talk about what are the important economic reports that we need to pay attention to for tomorrow. So we have Friday, October 16, we got at 8.30 and we got the retail sales for the month of September, their previous was 0.6% and the forecast is 1.2%. We also have at 8.30 and we got the retail sales 
X auto is going to be for September. The previous was 0.7% and the forecast is 0.3%. We also have a 9.15 a.m. We got the industrial production index. It's going to be for the month of September. The previous was 0.4% and the forecast is 0.4%. And also at 9.15 a.m. we got the capacity utilization. It's going to be for the month of September. The previous was 71.4% and the forecast is 71.8%. Also at 10 a.m. we got the consumer sentiment index. It's going to be for the month of October. The previous was 80.4%. The forecast is 79.9%. Also at 10 a.m. we got the business inventories. It's going to be for the period of August and the previous was 0.1%. So make sure you pay attention to these economic reports. All the times that I mentioned are Eastern Standard Time. Also, make sure you manage your risk. You have a solid plan before you get involved in any of these companies that we talk about on this channel. And if you want to join Discord and sign up for Webull or support the channel on Patreon, links available in the description box below. I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Let's get it. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.